Today we're going to talk about the important topic, which is SSL Certificate Chain. By the end of that talk, we're going to learn what is a Certificate Chain, what is an Intermediate Certificate, and what is a Root Certificate. And we're going to construct a PIM file so we can easily install our SSL Certificate in a proper way. My name is Zidane, and you can find me on Twitter, as well as in my blog and uh, on that channel, so I upload videos every Monday. So if you would like to subscribe so you can get notified on time, please go ahead. So what is a certificated chain? Certificated chain is ordered list of certificates. It has a silver certificate and the certificate authority certificates. Certificate authority is the one that verifies that the sender and all the certificate authorities are trusted. The start is always with a server certificate. Each certificate in the chain is signed by the entity identified by the next certificate in the chain. What does that mean? So normally the certificate chain will have a lot of certificates. It always starts with the server certificates and it ends with the root certificates. Between them there is intermediate certificates, which is moving us to the next point, which is what is an intermediate certificate. Intermediate certificate is any certificate that sits between the server certificate and the root certificate. It is the signer or the issuer of the server certificate. It is necessary to install it because if you do not install it, it will be not compatible with all the clients. One of the bad examples or bad installation of SSL certificates, you can find it in this URL incompatiblechain.badssl.com. What does that mean? So if you hit that uh, domain from your browser, you're gonna see it's working, everything is good, it's even secure. But if we tried another client which is care, so if we do care this uh, domain, you're gonna see it's SSL certificate problem, unable to, to get local issue certificate. That's good. So we always care about intermediate certificate. So when you're gonna install your certificate, please add intermediate certificate as well, because it's important to make your domain compatible or SSL compatible with all the clients. So the next step, what is the root certificate? Root certificate, it is the signer or the issuer of the intermediate certificate. The root certificate is always signed by the certificate authority itself. It's not required to be installed with the server because it will be packed with your browser. To summarize that, your certificate chain will has server certificate which is issued by intermediate certificate. If you have a lot of intermediate certificate, it will be uh, in that order. So this intermediate certificate, it will be issued by this one. At the end of the file, you're going to see the root certificate, which is the issuer of the intermediate certificate. But it's not required to be installed in your SSL certificate. As we mentioned, it's packed with your browser already. So let's have an example. So I got my certificate. Now we need to install that certificate. The first one is the server certificate, which is datatask.co.cert. The second one is the intermediate certificate and the Third one is the trusted root certificate. As we discussed, the order of the chain should start always with the server certificate, right? And it followed up with the intermediate certificate, and at the end, we can put the trusted root certificate, uh, which is not required. So we can easily achieve that with CAD, and then we put our daily task, and then we put the intermediate certificate. And then we move them to cert.pim file. And if we try cert.pim file, you will see that it constructed of 
two blocks. The first block is a server certificate and the second block is a intermediate certificate. And now we can easily install it from anywhere from AWS manage certificate manager or GCP um, manage certificate or we can even put it in our Nginx or Apache and everything will be compatible with all the clients. Hope that can help you and you can also find me on that channels, Twitter, my blog and this channel. I also will upload video every Monday. Thank you. See you next time.